I'm Richard Levine, and I'm a cellist with the San Diego Symphony. I just performed a beret from the third cello suite by Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach was a composer in what we call the Baroque period, which ended around 1750. Here is a painting of Bach that dates to 1746. Unfortunately, we don't have the original manuscripts from his cello suites, but what you see behind me is as close as we can get, it was copied by his wife, Anna Magdalena Bach, and um, that makes it about 300 years old. I'm not that old, but I've been performing with the San Diego Symphony since 1973 when I was 22 years old. In my family, all of the children studied piano, but I wasn't very good at it. Then, when I went from elementary school to junior high in the seventh grade, we had a beginning strings program, and I chose cello. Since then, it's been an important part of my life, and luckily, I'm much better at cello than I was at piano. But if you think I'm old, I'd like to introduce you to my cello. It was made in 1748. That's right around the time that that painting of Bach was made. The cello is a member of the string family of instruments, and more specifically, a member of the violin family. Strings are distinguished because we use a bow to draw across the strings in order to make a sound. The strings vibrate because we put rosin on the hair of the bow, and that creates friction and sets the string into vibration. Of course, we can also pluck the string much like a guitar. Another difference between the cello and the guitar is that the guitar has frets. Because we don't have frets on our fingerboard, Wherever we put our finger down is where the note is. It can be higher or lower, and it means we can slide between notes. And that can be very expressive, but only if it's done with taste. Most cellos are made out of three types of wood, and the top, which faces you, is made out of spruce. Most of the other parts, the sides, which we call the ribs, the back, the neck, the peg box, and the scroll, let me get down here where you can see it, the peg box and the scroll, um, are all made out of maple. And even the bridge, which holds the strings, is made out of maple. Most of the other parts, the pegs, the fingerboard, and the tailpiece, are made out of ebony. Now, when cellos were first made, they were entirely made out of wood, no metal at all. So there wasn't much really written for solo cello. But with the invention of wire-wound strings, composers started taking the instrument much more seriously, like Bach. Another adaptation is the end pin. The end pin holds the cello and supports it while we're sitting. When my cello was made in 1748, Cellos didn't use end pins. They instead just held the cello with their legs. I hope you've enjoyed meeting my cello. It's been a pleasure. Bye.